Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for December, um, Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. And uh, if you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to the full version of this video and uh, our signal service and our online trades. So uh, the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly yet again today. So we did not break down as we did yesterday. We ran into major resistance yesterday and then broke down, creating this inverted hammer. And at this point, I think that we're just gonna gradually um, increase towards the 20. If that breaks, we're heading all the way up towards the 50. And that will have a major impact on, uh, for example, gold, on uh, uh, commodity, on, for example, oil, and also indices and so on. So it basically means that the US dollar is becoming more expensive. And because um, it is world current, it's world currency, it is basically every time you buy something on the for example, in oil and so on, is basically you buy it in dollar. And if it's becoming more expensive, then, then of course, oil becomes more expensive and therefore demand falls and also the price. So there's a negative correlation uh, between commodities and precious metals, but it's not a 100% correlation. So it is good to pay attention to this, but uh, it doesn't really mean that if this goes up, then, then uh, oil goes down with the same amount doesn't mean that that every single time but uh, at this point i think that the 20 exponential is going to be a major hurdle to get through and i think that we are going to uh, turn around when we get to this area these technical indicators are looking fairly bearish uh, bullish at this point macd is crossing the signal line stochastic has crossed it uh, the cci is heading towards the zero is a little bit flat and the same is for the rsi but Sarcastic is very bullish, and so is the MACD becoming. So pull back towards the 20 uh, exponential, it's most likely going to be sold into, and we're going to head back towards 89.66. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we are going lower, as I did expect yesterday when I when we fell quite drastically all the way down to $46 uh, dollars, uh, and uh, found major support here at the 20 exponential. I think that is this is basically a buying opportunity and the target at this point is the $50 range. So we we're just at the 50. So we may see this go around and pull back towards uh, the 50. And at this point, because this is looking so supportive the 20 exponential we may actually go higher than the 50 dollar range but as that is to be seen um i think that there is going to be a lot of uh, selling occurring when we get to the 50 when this basically turns around um it is it's still going to take time it's not something that's going to happen tomorrow uh, but if you look at these technical indicators they are very bearish at this point so they are favoring the downside if, of course, we break the 20 exponential and we still have these very negative um, indicators also in the lower charts, then that could be an indication that we're going all the way down to the 50. But turn around here where the target is basically the $50 range. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we have rallied above the 20 exponential. It's not a massive rally. We were up roughly 3% and then gave some of those gains away. But at this point, the next hurdle is the 50 moving average, roughly uh, at around $2.9. Uh, so these technical indicators are looking more bullish. And because we rallied above the 20, then it's basically now is supportive and no longer resistant. And uh, we can basically say that the target of 2.2, uh, just above the 20, uh, 200 moving average, that is kind of out of the woods at this point. Um, the reason why we have this increased demand is because it's getting colder in the United States and uh, 
large parts of uh, the United States are also under snow. And that, of course, increases demand uh, for natural gas. But in order to go to the all-time highs here, or these very highs here, we need to get across the 50 moving average, which I think is going to be a major resistant. So let's look at copper. You see, we have fallen quite drastically and now it's becoming really interesting. If this level holds, then it is time to basically buy this. If it, start, if it breaks below the 20 exponential moving average, then that opens the door all the way down to the 50. And that is roughly at 3.28. So this is a market that has been rallying quite significantly. The 20 has been really uh supported for a very long time however there's a long a, a long way to the downside in this market the rsi is only at 50 57 at this point other technical indicators are looking dreadfully uh, bearish so we may go much lower so pay attention to this we could turn around here and i would pay attention to the us dollar index as well when that starts to depreciate then this market will go higher so let's look at gold. So we have gone lower as um, I kind of expected. These technical indicators are looking more and more bearish. The MACD is going to cross within one or two trading days. And the support at this point is the 20 exponential. So at the 1854, uh, that is some uh, that is a price level that we have to get through in order to go down to the 200 moving average so we are still trading within this triangle we have this uh, support line here and we have this resistant line here which we have to get through in order to go significantly higher or lower I do not favor the, the, the downside. I favor the upside in gold because I think gold is going to be very bullish for a very long time due to uh, monetary policies by most central banks and also because of uh, government intervention and they will just throw money at the economy uh, for the foreseeable future in order to basically get things going again. But... If the 20 exponential breaks, we're heading down to these lows here at the 1825 and then probably the 200 moving average at 1850. But the closer that we get to the resistant area, that is basically a selling opportunity. The closer we get to the support area, that's a buying opportunity. Until we get in the corner here or roughly here, I think we're going to break significantly to the upside. 1900 is going to be a target. 1950 is going to be a target. 2000, 2100 and so on. So... Keep that in mind, we're most likely going down, up, down, and then go significantly higher. So let's look at silver. And as you can see, silver has broken substantially down, but we have a um, different market than the, than the gold market. So this support line here is mostly going to hold. Uh, we don't just have the support line, we have the 20 exponential, we also have the 50 right here. However, we most likely will test it. Uh, these technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. Um, so it is to be seen, it will most likely bounce from here and go higher and higher. So the next massive resistance, which we basically tested yesterday, I actually didn't get that. But we tested it yesterday. So this area here is going to be a really third in order to get through. We, we tested it yesterday, broke down substantially, and probably a grind higher from here is what's going to take out this uh, price level here. It won't happen in, in a certain thrust to the upside. It will take a massive grind to the upside in order to go higher. So... The closer we get to the 20 exponential, the better the buying opportunity with a stop loss right underneath the 50. That is basically what I would do in this market. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we have broken down and rallied. And at this moment, we are right at the 20 exponential moving average. Um, 
this was a massive wake up call for this market. And I think that it is going to turn around and go much lower from here. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this market, we can see that we ended, we found support right at the first Fibonacci retracement at the 38.2 and then rallied from there. But these technical indicators are not showing that we are going to turn around anytime soon. I think we're going to break below this, head towards the 50%, and that is at 961, and then probably towards the 50 moving average. So it is to be seen. Um, if we rally above the 20 exponential, then we are going to test the previous highs. So let's look at Palladium. Palladium. Well, more of the same. We are just stuck here in the middle of nowhere. I would not, I'm not trading this. I would not recommend anybody else to trade this because we're just right in the middle. We have been stuck at the 50 and the 20 exponential for a very long time. We have been going up and down and so on. This is not a very bullish candle. This is a very bearish candle. So this could be an indication that we are going to head towards these previous lows here. So we have a lower support line and a higher resistance line. And every time we get close to them, that is a buying and selling opportunity. Technical indicators for this uh, commodity are, well, they are flat and negative. So uh, until we basically have a major breakdown towards the downside or a rally to the upside, I'm just going to stay away from this. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want the full access to this video, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon channel. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.